our adventuring party, our adventuring party has um, stumbled, upon stumbled upon an underground yeah. layer of living stones where the believers were uh, gathered and where some crazy old man, uh, a mage that tried to get away through a, you know, uh, collapsing rock tunnel, um, tried to make his escape, but, uh, at the behest of- Huh? He was a mage? I thought he was a cleric. Cleric. He was a magic user, is what I meant to say. Apologies. Um... At the behest, uh, uh, um, Galleon followed through and caught him, where the other two stayed behind and finished off, uh, a group that, um, seemed to belong, seemed to belong to the, uh, Earth Vault, um, and finished them off. The constable came, uh, basically, well, like, after they had finished and were investigating and looking into the bodies, and took, uh, the cleric in for investigation. Um, and while that was all happening, and they had requested that the group stay in the, in the town, um, they went off to the... They asked the constable, hey, is there anything we can do? Yeah, I mean, there's always... I heard about a, another group of bandits that were off the road, and they went and took care of them and came back. and Pretty much just uh, waiting around for investigations to stop, and... We had a bear fight. Oh, yes. We had a bear fight. Um, thanks to My bear one. handy bag of tricks. And, uh, yep, that's about it. And that's where we left off, and in the town, probably went to sleep at that point. Pretty and then sure woke up. we yeah, had a long rest there and then there. Mm -hmm. So, waking up in the morning. Are we going to do it a nighttime thing with my sword? Wait, 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 dude. What? What? We skipped some of the part where we had the cleric that was the part under the city. I thought after that they sent us out and we fought some bandits. We, she said that. Well, while we were waiting for him to wake up because he's been unconscious this whole time, we went out and oh. killed some bandits. Okay. I'm yeah. That was all three of you, right? Or does, was it just... Oh yeah, because was... you waited for uh, him to... for, for Pesic to wake up. Yeah, we got, all three of us went and yeah. killed the bandits. I remember you were you wanted to go right away, and he was sleeping. <laughs> anyway, so um, while you all took a long rest, Galleon, yes, uh, fell asleep outside uh, with his bear, and and my giant pig, and his giant pig, and I think. The owl. I mean, the owl might have flown away. So he, fuck off. Yeah, he was a nocturnal. It's probably hunting stuff. Yeah. So, as uh, you know, you settle in under the tree, as comfortable as it is. Um. You start to dream of uh, a. Cold mountainside. The snow's coming down harshly on an angle. Your it it you can feel it that the colds at your at your nose at your hands anything that's you know not you know not or exposed to the elements. Um, and you look you look around. You're on kind of like a side path on the mountain. And the, the, the path goes up, and then if you look behind you, it goes back. And your vision's a little, 
Like, you have dark vision and everything, but, it, like, the snow has is increasingly getting heavier. Um, and you can probably see about at least 30 feet out before it gets kind of, like, white. Um, the wind's howling. What do you do? Where the fuck am I? What? Where's my bear? Where's my boar? Oh, my God. It's so cold. I put my hand over my eyes, trying to, like, black out the snow as I'm looking around in every direction. Do I see anything other than just pure white? You, um... It takes a sec for you to kind of focus. And... Um... Not so much you can see, but you can smell... The roasting of meats ahead of you like a fire i'm heading in that direction all right so you trudge up through the snow your feet crunching through this through the, through the snow up the path and about 50 like 30 40 50 basically about 20 feet past your vision before uh a on the side of the mountain uh, a, ca a cave opens up, and that's the the scent of the meat is getting stronger. And uh, are you coming around the corner to look inside? I'm gonna poke my head around the corner carefully, trying to see if I can see. I imagine I'm going to have better vision in there than out here in the the snow. So I'm gonna yeah. not just charge it's, in there. I'm gonna yeah. see see if I see what I can uh, check out before I just barge in there. Assuming there's a life form in there of some kind. So as you um, poke your head around the corner, the cavern's about um, lit by low firelight, about 40-ish feet deep, the fire being about at least 15 to 20 feet back to as the snow kind of has come in a little bit into the entrance. Didn't want to get too close to that, obviously. And almost immediately you notice a small, like not small, but a, uh, a figure squatting next to the fire, not completely back to you, but kind of off to the side, looking at it. There's, uh, some nondescript small animal hungover pits above the fire and, uh, it's a female orc with a long uh, so, uh, sword next to her in a sheath with, you know, there's little tassels hanging from the hilt and, you know, you can't, like, you can see it. There's, there looks to be some ornate design on it and everything and almost immediately she cocks her head and looks back at you. It's about time you fucking made your way here. Get inside. Well, easy lady. I have no idea who you are, but it's pretty cold out here, so I'm, I'm going to come in. Just uh, leave the sword on the ground, please. I, I walk in, hands raised, sniffing the air. What are you cooking? Does it matter? You're hungry, right? I mean, not really, but. She looks up at you. She's got um, graying, not completely gray, uh, but uh, mostly overtaken by gray and silver, twisted back into two braids that kind of also twist around themselves back down uh, her back. And she's got... Um, she doesn't have armor on right now. Uh, as you can actually see behind, like, there's small stones kind of, like, randomly scattered around where the fire pit is, where the fire pit doesn't have any stones around it. There's just small, larger boulders that kind of serve as sitting places. And behind, on the other side of her, you notice a small bundle, which was probably armor of hers. Um, and, uh... And was it splint? Splint style um, and everything. She's got, 
you know, her underclothes on just, and you actually, they're kind of nice. They've got a little bit of like, uh, white dragon designs on them. And she's got, uh, a, almost like a light, like a light, light green skin that almost turns bluish, like as it goes into her hairline and uh, medium tusks that jut out as she kind of like peers up at you. So, someone finally found me. It's been a while. I, uh, I walk up and sit at, on the stone, whichever one is the most uh, like directly across from her. And like okay. hold my hands up to the fire, and I mean it's kind of easy to find you when you're cooking food that smells great from a distance out there. It's it's just pure nothing and cold out there, though so this stood out pretty easily. I mean, you found this, and she kind of uses her boot, which you notice have spikes on the bottom of them, to gently nudge the side of the sword. Uh, you I mean, have my sword. I stare blankly at her for a second. I'm like, your sword's right there. She sighs heavily. The sword that you found that was unique, it only activates when there's blood of my family in your blood. I look Whoever at it. Picks it up. I look at it puzzled for a moment. And then I reach back feeling around to see if I have the blade on me. Oh, you don't. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I found I don't have any of my stuff with me. I don't know how I got here. But I mean I bought a sword from a shopkeep that I don't know, felt I felt something from it. From the moment I touched it, some kind of big burst of power happened and then immediately dormant. I don't know, That's because you have to prove yourself. Prove and myself? I've been watching. I'm, I'm a famous dread pirate. I've been slaughtering the seas for years. What more do I need to prove? <sighs> Patience. Discipline. Not acting like a fucking idiot. I am not known for those things. She kind of like uh, reaches out with the stick that she was holding and kind of pulls up one of the pieces of meat and gingerly touches it, like bites into it. Right, well, I finally decided, after watching you for a bit, and you were quick on your feet and quick thinking to capture the, enemy, the foes that you've gone up against. Mind you, I don't necessarily like the company that you have. Is it the dwarf? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, he's kind of smelly. She laughs, and she stands up a little, and she stands up. Still takes another bite. And she was a little bit as she looks out at the wind. Well, now that we've introduced ourselves, which I've not, I you don't no get to know my name yet. But maybe you will. She picks up the sword, and as she picks up the sword, you feel a familiar weight settle across your waist as your sword suddenly appears at your waist. Uh, uh, and it looks like hers. This is this did not look like this before. What what happened? What trickery is this? Am I, I am I still drunk? <laughs> um if you think about it, 
you're, you're pretty sure you're asleep. You're pretty sure you remembered going to sleep. And you hadn't woken up yet. So, I don't think you're that... I mean, your intelligence is what? Eight? Eight. Oh. Uh, you want to roll a, a general intelligence check for me? Sure. Boom. <laughs> is that just a... Oh my god, that's a six. Um, yeah, sure. You don't know where the fuck you are. But this old lady with the sword is now standing uh, a little bit away from you. She took a few steps away from the fire and she drew her sword and she looks back at you. She goes, let's spar. Let's see what you You want to fight? I'll have you know, my name is Galleon and I have a sword. I pull it out real quick and they're like, this is not how I remember it feeling, but all right, let's go. I grab it with two hands. Okay. So, for the brevity of it, you you get into it, you, you start sparring, and she's showing you how to, basically, since you're so used to a long sword with one hand and moving, to, you, and you instinctively sword. move to two hands, right. yeah, or two hands, um, she's teaching you to primarily try to focus on using two hands and going through the motions and, you know... Showing you a bit of her style of fighting and her ways. And as you kind of get towards the end of like a little bit of a good sparring session about what you would maybe think an hour, maybe it's multiple hours, you're kind of sit, like sitting there breathing and she kind of no gives you a nod and then you wake up. Oh, yeah. <sighs> What, uh, is it like morning yet, or? It's morning. Look around from my, my bear, I'm like, oh no, bear! Boar! Your bear's <sighs> gone. And your boar's gone. They're gone. Since they're from the bag of tricks. And then I'm gonna reach around and feel from my sword, I'm like, oh, I pick it up and look at it. How's well, it it's not on your side. Oh, it's not on my side. Where the fuck did my sword go? Stand if up, you, start looking if, around. If you look around, it's about four or five feet from you. But it looks different. I run over to it and pick it up. Has, how's it, does it look like it did in the dream? It does. Thank like, ah. Long, skinnier, with a uh, with a kind of solid um, hilt. There's swirling designs, and there's like a cool touch to the metal, like. It, there's metal uh, engraved into like a. Um, it, actually, it's metal on metal, not wood. That's my bad. Um, it's like metal on metal, two different types of metal kind of swirled together. And there is like a cooler than normal touch to it. Oh, I don't. This. I was swear. I swore I was just hammered, but. What? What just happened? Why? Is the, the sword still cold from being in the mountains? Should be warm by now. I don't. I need to kill something to get this out of my head. Maybe fucking. Let's go see the constable. That that stupid cleric has to be awake by now. I'm gonna grab my things and head over to the constable's office. Okay. Well, uh. That's happening. I don't know, uh, if. Both Fire and Fezzik, uh were sleeping at the inn, or um, Galen actually would have woken up a little bit later, like normal time would be eight or nine, and Galen slept in a little bit. But I was having a sweet dream or something. I don't know. If you had a room at, I know Fezzik had a room at the. Uh, uh, yeah, no idea where campfire is. Inn, yeah, fire, got it. Yeah, he just kind of goes off and finds his own perch, I guess. <laughs> he just kind of disappears sometimes. But yeah, if I remember right, I think I was at, I think we left off with me going to my room. At the, at the swinging sword. So, uh, if you guys were awake first, 
technically. Yeah. yeah I'm, Were you gonna do I'm anything? Yeah, I'm, or? Nothing, I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, I'll have my. I'll I'll, have, I'll be uh, hanging out somewhere near Galleon, but have my pro ready to uh, raise and ready to hang out at the, uh, the inn ready and wake me up when yeah, the inn book. If he can wake me up. Gotcha. So basically, just watching Galleon creepily. Probably give him a sweet show. <laughs> I was probably not I mean, sleeping very sleep. peacefully there. <laughs> yeah, probably talking out loud a little bit. What's the, uh, what are we calling the office where the constable... I... Yeah, does that have a name? I've been, just been calling it, like, his office. The pokey? Call it his office for a little bit longer. All right. Um, I don't really have a name for it. It's basically like a, um, kind of like a, uh, a lawmaster's quarters, law, uh, headquarters, because there is no real lawmaster. He's supposed, he has to take over for the lawmaster. So. Ah, so he was forced into the position. Because yeah, he was forced else. into it. He didn't really want it. So. I'll go check out. The, uh, yeah, I'll go check out the constable's office, see if um, see if he's made any progress with the cleric. Cool. You walk up first, so you will probably you'll you'll get to get there before I show up. So, go ahead. So you make your way to the um, constable's office, the lawmaster. Um, I don't know the proper term for the building, but. Um, go in there, and you find him at his usual desk towards the back. Papers all over. Some papers on the ground, some papers stacked behind him. Muttering, swearing, you know. The usual. He looks up at you when you come in. What was his name again? Or did he ever give us his name? Constable Work. I'm bad. I don't have my old my old notes because I started making new notes. They're all out in the car. Um, constable. Rumors. I think it would be called the precinct. Do they call him like that back then? I don't think it would be precinct. I don't remember him ever telling us his name. Yeah, I don't think so. We I even spoke to his wife and I, she didn't say it. No. Anyway, I'm, I walk in. Constable I say, Good Harbor. To Har mm -hmm. Harbrook. Harbrook. That does sound familiar now that you say mm -hmm. it. Good I was gonna morning, say, Constable. I... Any uh, any progress with our with our uh, new? Ah, uh, he's not a fucking bit of help. But I heard he is awake though. Hmm. I. He, uh, granted, he, he just woke up a bit last night when you guys were out having your fun. Um, actually, and he rummages around, actually, in a stack of papers and pulls out a letter. He goes, this came for you, cleric. For me? All right, I'll take I, it and, on the uh, on the front of it, you notice the symbol of the uh, gauntlet holding a sword. Okay, I'll open it up. And it says, "Isaac, on route." to Summit Hill, where we were to bring a fallen knight who was felled, killing orcs in the spine of the world. We heard rumors of an overdue delegation from the city of Mirabar that disappeared into Slumber Hills. 
Hoping this letter reaches you in Red Larch, where you said you were last headed, we need your help in this endeavor, as the Order of the Gauntlet has made it our concern to help look into this disappearance. Please send word of any findings. Sign LK, which, if you recall, Lich King. hmm? Lich King. <laughs> no. It's true. Um, Laron Kelbrand, who is a high commander of the Order of the Gauntlet. Um, can you read that for me one more time real quick? You probably send it to him directly. I will send it to you directly. I forgot about that. I'm a bad DM. <laughs> I knew it. That's whispered to only you, so only you get to see it. Sometimes the chat windows go on for long or they'll get cleared. So if it's some important information that you want, I suggest like copying it over to... Oh. Yep. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I would yeah, like so. I would suggest copying that over to uh, like a, whatever your notes are going to be. Can you need me to send that again? No, I still have it. Okay. Yeah, it's not super important. Whatever. Yeah. I still have you muted because mm -hmm. this doesn't care about push talk. Ah. So that's why I had to turn that off too. If you wanted, I remember hearing it in the first session. Man, I got it so annoying. Anyways. Anyway, is there anything I can help you with besides your letter, which I don't know why the fuck it came to me. I'm not a postal delivery service. Um, well, I was mainly curious to see if uh if the clear had given up any information but you said that he hasn't been awake for very long do you mind if i speak with by he won't give in any information he won't speak mostly spits in your face if you get what i mean <laughs> well to be fair he won't speak with you but maybe me and my friends could persuade him to be a little more agreeable. You're not gonna beat him up, are you? Me? No, I, I would never. My, uh, my pirate friend, on the other hand, I can't really speak for him. Can you promise to keep your friend in line? Have you met my friend? I have. That's why I'm entrusting it to you. Uh, in that case, maybe I should go it alone. Probably best. I'm still sleeping anyways. Right. Well, would you mind if I went and had a talk with him by myself? 
I follow me and he like gets up and um, kind of gives himself like a waist check to where he kind of grabs a, a ring of keys, nods, and he kind of goes off to the back where there's a hallway. Um, and, you know, motions you to follow him and everything. And uh, at the end of the hallway in the back, there's a door with one guy kind of standing a little bit past it. Um, just kind of keep and watch. And he nods to him and um, uh, goes in the door and there's like a staircase that goes down basically to like a just one like a basement floor essentially underneath the lawmaster office area um and you follow him down gets down to another small like landing area uh place and there's one guy sitting down there nods to him goes through the door and basically goes down a hallway, which there's uh, about maybe 60 feet or so of just a long hallway um, and cells on either side. And there's nobody in the cells. There's like, and he gets down to the end one where you see a, a figure sitting on a cot in there. And he looks at him and he goes, and he motions into the cell. By means, he's all yours. And he uh, sticks the key in the lock and open, or actually, no, he's not going to do that. He goes, you can talk to him through the bars. I was going to say, we're probably better off just talking this way. This is yeah. fine. Yeah. Just, uh, whenever you're ready, come up, come back up. And he walks off. A little bit and um as you notice him leave uh he motions to the guard that was sitting like inside the doorway and that guard comes in a little bit like into the hallway area and then stands maybe 10 like not close to you but like just kind of towards the end of the hallway but anyway Uh, I really don't know what to ask him. <laughs> um, nice. In the war, take it. Take it. You can go with it. What's, um, I'll ask him his name. Thank you. Kinda of turns his head towards you and laughs. You don't even know my name. Is it Ilma? <laughs> no. Don't look. Don't oh, look. Ilma is your boss then. He rolls his eyes and folds his arms as he leans back against the cell wall. If I had known we had such a minor lieutenant in custody, I probably wouldn't even have bothered to bring you in. Then why don't you talk to your friend, Mr. Constable, and have him let me go? Because I didn't do anything. Just following orders. Whose orders? No one's business besides mine.
Not to say that I've been I mean, given any names either. I mean, we can work something out. Like you said, you didn't do anything. And you really didn't. I didn't? I remember. Guys just what? came bursting so. in, throwing spells in my face, and then I tried to run away because you're attacking me and I'm trying to attack in self-defense. And big fucking crazy orc comes and chases me down and knocks me out. That's racist. So we're in agreement then that I didn't do walk. anything. No. So it should be pretty easy to convince the constable to get you up. I mean all we need all we need is a name. Of what? Whose orders were you following? Nobody's. I don't have you a just name. Just said that you were following orders. I don't have a name. I do this for my own personal amusement. The believers, well, they believe anything. Moving rocks, am I right? Yeah, I did kind of see that myself. Little bit of wiggles his fingers. And they'll believe anything. About this time, you hear a large crash up in the uh, main building. Constable! Oi. Uh, what the fuck do you want? I've come to see if our uh, stupid friend Cleric has woken up yet. I've, I've come along. Yeah, you're... Your other friend, Cleric, is down there talking with him. Uh, dwarf woke up earlier than me. Who must have been the booze? Alright. Well, if he's down there, can I go too? I don't know if I should let you. What? What does that mean? It's because I'm a half-orc? No, that it's because racist. you like to punch things. Doesn't everybody? Well, you can go down there, but you're not going in the cell. That's fine. Go ahead. And he, like, stands up and he, like, looks down the hall. He goes, let him in. All right, I'll uh, proceed down the, uh, the hallway. There's See. a set of stairs. Go down the stairs, very loudly. And Stomping around. And after you, the guard yells down to the other guy. Hey, Stan! More people coming down. Stan! How's the family? He turns and looks at you with this incredulous look like, Who the fuck are you? Tell the wife I said hey and I pat him on the back as I walk by. So confused. Ah, dwarf. You beat me here. I'm gonna turn and look at uh the cleric guy. Okay, so How's it going? Good. How are you feeling? Glad I thought I was gonna kill you. His eye is there when he sees you. No? Did you forget how to speak? I didn't hit you that hard. Talking, but he didn't really tell me anything. Don't like talking, huh? Not with people that try to kill me, no. I walk I mean I walk forward and I cast charm person. Oh, charm person. What's the save on that? It's only twelve. my 
I recall correctly. He's trying to find his character sheet. Let me just roll fucking day 20 and fucking see. He made it, so I rolled a 12. So whatever he has plus, I'm yeah. sure he doesn't have anything negative. Oh, I'm sure, because he's a cleric, so. Yeah. So you cast Charm Person, and his eyes fog over for a second, and then he blinks, and he kind of looks past the orc at you and just laughs. He tisks. Uh uh uh. I I rolled a twelve, so. Oh, so close. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm gonna look back. Uh, wow, well, if magic doesn't work, it's gonna kind of like, you know, adjust my sword a little bit. But I got a couple other things that might work. I'm not really sure what you were doing down there, you personally, mm. but these believers were doing some questionable things. You. He just makes a crazy motion with his finger. Yeah, they're all a little crazy, but there was a dead body. There was a boy chained up. Oh yeah, Pretty their uh, punishments are a little harsh. I mean, they're, that we're going to let them go. Their punishments? Your yeah. punishments? Their punishments. An old man in the room before you mentioned you were in charge. Uh, they like to believe I'm in charge because I'm the only one with the brain. Or, I don't know how much of that you have, but we'll see. You, mm. keep, you keep talking like you're not one of these believers. Who are you? He's not the He's not a believer. He's I'm not clearly a believer. I'm the, the one that they believe in, or they believe in these stones. Yes, well, you may only be guilty of manipulating idiots, but you're manipulating them to kill people. Punish a boy. I didn't know that they were able to kill. Punish? Yes. No? You don't but know anything about the dead body we found? No. <clears throat> Do you know anything about this? And I pull out the dagger I found. That's mine. I left it on the, uh, as one of the offerings to the statue that they believe in. When I, like, smell it, the blood smells very similar to the blood on the dead body. Oh, are you a pack hound? Didn't know that you were one in your past life. Should I just call you dog? You can call me whatever you want. It doesn't make you any less innocent. Cool. It's my dagger at the altar that I left at the altar. Any one of them could have taken it and killed somebody. I could have. But you said this was yours. It was mine. I haven't touched that in at least a, a tenth night now. A tenth night? Is that how they hear? I don't know how much, how much we would take the word of a fucking murderer. Oh, yeah, that's my weapon. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I don't know if you killed somebody with it. Nope. Seems kind of suspicious. Maybe I should go talk to the constable about that. All right, I'll just rot here forever. Goodbye. Go away. I'll probably be back. I don't know. You're Please really annoying. Please go away. Okay, bye. We'll walk back upstairs. Come by, Stan. Watch out. Hello. 
Okay. And I walk up to him and be like, Constable! Kind of like spin the chair around at his desk and like cool dudes sit down at it. That guy's really stupid and I hate him. Yeah, yep. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the dagger and set it on the desk and be like, We found that. Says it's his. Um, there was a, as you as you mentioned, there was a dead body that we found down there. Pretty sure that's the murder weapon. Hmm. He looks at it. Takes a <clears throat> like a cloth out of his pocket, like a handkerchief, and picks it up. So it's not your fingerprints are on it too, by the way. He goes, but. I appreciate it. I'll have uh I wear gloves by the way. Huh? I wear gloves There's by the way. Back in, uh, Sorry, in figure, I don't, well I don't know. I was just <laughs> saying it off the top of my head. Jeez. CSI water deep. Dun 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 <laughs> Dun dun I don't know, maybe there's some magic for doing that. Yeah. Probably that's is. magic that like as well. Sorry, it was the first thing like yeah, that I, get it. I thought of. Whatever. I'll uh, have someone look into this then. There, I can't do anything with it. I don't know any magic. All right. Well, don't let him out of there. He acts innocent. That is the guy. That is. Uh, well, he was down there. Yeah. That's for one thing. He's, he's these also believers. He keeps mentioning. He's. Trying to pin pin the blame on them, uh, and perhaps, you know, that that is the murder weapon. He said that is his dagger. He said he hasn't seen it in a while. That sounds like bullshit to me. But regardless, even if he wasn't the one that did it, he was the one that was manipulating all these idiots. That's still guilty, as far as I'm concerned. True. But, uh, if that's all you got, I guess we'll hang around town for a little bit. What do you mean, if that's all I got? I mean, I don't know, I'm kind of bored. I, this was the last thing that I did. I was kind of trying True. to see what's going on. Maybe there's other things to do, like, did, you, did your bounty board, killed some bandits. This I mean... Maybe I'll look into maybe opening a bounty board, but sometimes things are just peaceful, you know. There's nothing so to boring. Kill. Granted, I I wish that were the case. I highly doubt it. These believers are a problem at all. They might come looking for their boss. I would keep an eye on him. Who knows how many people are actually a member of this? Did you? Uh, maybe Stan. Stan. Do you believe? What? Are you a believer? No, fucking crazy idiots. Alright, I think Stan's good, but uh, check the rest of them. Well, I was going to ask. The town's been kind of... There's these rumors been floating around about a... Uh, uh, Delegation from up north. From uh, Maribar that went missing. Along with, you know, people get robbed, the bandits and crap all along, but these people didn't just show up anywhere afterwards, they went missing. Oh. That's the first, that's the thing that I've been being contacted about recently. Besides just this whole weird underground crap with the believers. Okay. Yeah. Missing people? Missing people. Alright. Not like a detective or anything, but you mentioned bandits and raiders. I'm really good at killing well, those. Well, I mean, you know, I'm saying because usually when people get robbed, their stuff gets robbed. And 
they come through town or show up at the next town without stuff. Or sometimes they do get killed and people find their bodies. There's no bodies. No people. No bodies, no people. And apparently there were, maybe there were some important people or something because mul- cause different people are asking about them because to come from Mirabar, you come down, what is that road called? Yeah. Move all my notes. Oh, I don't even have the big map up. You come down the road through here, and they could have come through here. They could have come this way, but I guess they were either going to the hills past us, the slump, the slumber hills, which is north of us. Because, but they come from the north, so they could have either came from us or they could have went west. But no one has seen them. And they went mm. missing. I mean, I don't got anything else going on. I had actually just received word from my order that those missing people were a delegation. You know a little bit about them? Yeah, uh, they're from uh, they're from Mirabar. Galleon, make an intelligence check. Ugh, you've just established I'm not good at that. Well, you're the one that needs to make it. Seven. Fezzik, make an intelligence check. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, who was with Galleon when he was selling stuff? Was that you, To the, the random, like, flea market chick? Yes. Was anyone with you? I don't know. At least Fezzik was there. I don't I think. I don't Fezzik know. was there? Okay, yeah. Fezzik, make an intelligence check. Whoa. Okay. Fezzik, if you recall, and uh, you looted from bodies that were underground in, like, uh, trade bars that now that you recall the little the small sigils on them they they come from mirbar so the trade bars that we came across were actually from the uh, from the same town, they really yes. Came from the people, uh, potentially came from the people that came up missing. I mean, oh, they're from Mirabar, though. So the people that had them were possibly from there, yes, or at least passed through, because it's the, they're just currency, but it's just currency that's specifically known to that town. Or city. Alright, well, I guess, uh, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna walk up to Maribar? I don't have anything else going on. So I'm gonna go get some breakfast first. Walk out and head towards the tavern. Well, do we wanna go to, do we wanna head toward Mirabar, or 
um, or the Slumber Hills, because the Slumber Hills is where they disappeared. Ah, well, he said they could have disappeared from the Slumber Hills, right? They left Maribar, and somewhere between after they left Maribar, they disappeared. So the Slumber Hills is one of the places they could be. Yeah, well, it was... Obviously, we, we can't just start wandering around the Slumber Hills hoping to stumble across them. I mean, whatever. It'd be a fun adventure. <laughs> All right. But um, first, I need I breakfast. Know. Yeah, that sounds good. We can do that. I'm going to head over to the tavern. Burst in rather loudly. Ah, tavern folk! I have returned! Helmet High Sun. What? That's the name of the tavern. Helmet High Sun? Helm at High Sun. Alright. One sec. I. I see you, girl. Can I have one? Sure. Here you go. Sorry. Our child was trying to scale the fridge to get the... Uh, she wants the fruit on. snacks on the fridge. She pushed the chair up to it and was trying to get up there to get them. So I figured to stop her before she fell and, you know... She's here. she's an animal. All right. I'll make sure and get her a grappling hook for Christmas, so she doesn't have to worry about getting using the chair. Oh God. God! Just get her pads. She could still fall with a grappling hook, a helmet, and some knee pads. It'll be fine. Just some bubble wrap. Oh, bubble wrap! That sounds great. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna uh, yeah, bust in the the tavern. Ah, you know, make a ruckus. Sit down at nearest empty table. Bring me some eggs and bacon. I got a long day ahead of me. All right, all right, and freaking the the woman you usually used to sing. I can't remember her name. It's like Iliot. Illarine or something. It's like I L L Y. Uh, Illarine. I'm just going to say Illarine. Fuck it. Um, uh, calls back to the. Calls back through the door to start your stuff and immediately. Woo. You want to. Ale, love. Ah, you know me so well. I. She, uh. You know, gets a small. Uh, you know, your size tankard, whatever. Sets it down in front of you. Are you joining Galleon? Oh, yeah, we can sit at the same table this time, I guess. <laughs> I'll, I'll, reluc I'll reluctantly sit at the same table, but as far away. I'll, I'll sit too, since by now people know I'm associated with them. Yeah, since you, you know, walk around with them. Try not to do it too much. So, uh, I'm gonna, you know, eat my food in a very, like, loud manner and, you know, crunching it. And as I'm, as I'm doing so, I'm like, <laughs> Alright, so. Mm. Oh, it's fucking it's so good, ale. Love this place. Give me another, give me another round of uh, ale, please. Uh, so. <clears throat> So we're going north. Are we just gonna go? We're just gonna go wander around the hills. If we do that, we should probably make sure we bring some uh, some food with us. Some we might have to camp out there. You know, I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's a pretty big place. Maybe uh, bring some water with us. Bring some general survival supplies. I don't know what you guys got going on. Did we, uh, did we get uh, any information about it? He just said, up in the Humber Hills, and that's the entirety of the information. 
I mean, well, he had a letter, so... He has a letter, and we, as far as I know, it was told the people left uh, Maribar south, and somewhere between there, somewhere after they left there, they disappeared. The Sumber Hills is one of the places that they could have gone south, but there are other directions that they could have gone south. One of According which is... To the, the Red Large, but they never made it to Red Large, so we're not sure where they disappeared. Kyrie, get down from there. Well, According to the letter I got from my high commanders, uh, he says that it was in the Slumber Hills. They did disappear into the Slumber One Hills. One more. Okay. Does, uh, does anybody in our group have any survival? I definitely don't. I don't care, Mike. Okay, last one. Okay, no more. Um, I have a plus three to survival. Uh, yeah, I'm just plus one. Nothing. I'm not fishing in there or anything. I love you. Let's go. Oh. How, how far is it? Uh, that's a good question. How, about how far away uh, from us is like Maribar and the Summer Hills? Would we know? I'm I'm not really familiar with this area, so um, I wouldn't. I've never been there. Um, make a be history. Oh, my sword might know. Yeah, make a um, make a history check. Do you know if you know to anyone can make it because you're all talking about where it could possibly be. You know it's north. Oh. oh, look at that! My sword told me. <laughs> Uh, well, let me pull up the bigger map then and kind of calculate it. Because I didn't calculate that far away. Uh, okay, let me see that. How do you roll these things? Uh, if you want to roll them, you have to roll them in the chat window. You can you can uh, click on the modifier and drag it yeah. into the chat window. So right? yeah, to or roll you it, just double click on the modifier and that'll roll it there. Yep, the, the area on your uh, skills list where it says total and it has like a little like die number next to it and a plus whatever. Uh, that's where you would grab to uh, roll the modified version of it, whether you have you know proficiency in you know your stat modifiers oh if you click on the number and then pull away you'll have a d20 on your die then and then you can just throw it in the chat window okay so from like red large Who's rolling stuff in the tower? Oh, that's fine. Yep, you can drop it right into the tower and I will see it. Yeah, the top. Yep, the tower works too. So the dice tower, if you grab a dice and roll it in the dice tower, then the only person that sees the result of the dice roll is the GM. Aha, uh -huh. I love the internet. <laughs> so, Galleon. Like, uh, Fezzik knows this too. It's it's quite a ways away. It's up by the, um... Ah! Lost it. The Spine of the World. Um, which is way towards the top of where the Desert Valley is, but it would take about 
One, two, about three weeks to get there. Gee, the Maribar, Maribar is three weeks away from traveling yes, on it's foot. at the top of the area. The area. What? No! No more! Get down! No more. What was that? But, but yeah, how please. far is the Sumber Hills? The Sumber Hills is like right to the north uh, no east. More. Like okay. a day's travel? Less than a day's travel? Five days travel? Yeah, like a no Maybe a couple Hold on. Let me pull that map back up. Um. Get down. Get down. Your yeah, it, like the Summer Hills is like an area, and it's like uh, about 20 miles um, up the long road, or you can go up a Larch Path, which is a north eastern road, and um, that's what it, but it's just a large area is the Sumber Hills. It's a, it's a hilly area. So it's like a huge area to be searching. I mean, if you, yeah, if you ask around, it's about the Sumber Hills encompasses about Okay, so the Summer Hills is about a uh, 70 by 100 miles area. Ooh, but it's like this, it's just this large, there's roads that run through it, there's a river that runs through it, the, the Deseran uh, River. Um, there, yeah. You can ask around for a map. I'm pretty sure I gave you guys a map, but you've never bought a map in game. So you could probably get a small map of uh, the surrounding area of Red Larch. Oh, I gave you a map of, of Red Larch. If you want to go find a map, I have a map to give you guys. Yeah, I'll, um, yeah, I'll buy a map. Basically, um, th they don't really have anything besides a small, like, the map that I gave you of Red Larch, where it's basically, you know, small town, well, smallish town. And then they have a map of the, the Deseran Valley, which you guys are in, so... Yeah, buying a mask is probably a good idea. Sounds really far away. I am not very good at directions. Unless we're out of sea. You can smell where to go. Yeah, it's a pretty big area just to start wandering around in. Maybe we could start by just traveling the roads that run through Slumber Hills. And if we don't find anything, we'll travel the river. Really? We're like right next to Slumber Hills. That whole thing is Slumber Hills. Yeah, that I know. Whole 70 miles? Yeah. I roughly yeah. counted. The, each hexagon is about 10 miles. It didn't really take us that long to get to Lance Rock. That was like 20 miles away. You can travel 20 miles. Yeah. I... And then not just across, but then you have to be zigzagging through it looking for extra. Yeah. 
If only we had like a guide. Yeah, we 70 should... miles is about two days. You guys go buy a map. I'm going to try and find us a guide. That's a good idea, too. I'm going to slap down some, some money. How much do I owe her for breakfast? Like five silver, I think. Yeah. Five silver. All right. I'm going to... Um, I was going to bring him in soon, too. Uh, where is... Oh, that's what I want to do after I was... Um. All that brown stuff. Yeah, it's those all rock formations. It looks like. So as uh, you're paying, Galen, and starting to get up, a uh, a hand comes down to clamp on your shoulder. And a gruff female voice. Hey, were you talking about, uh... The... I can't do a drunk voice very well. <laughs> Slam hey, a couple of shots. It'll help. <laughs> were you talking about that, uh... The disappearance of those people that everyone's talking about from Mirabard? Ah, so glad of you to notice. Yes, once again, we will go off and save the day of all the troubles of... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now. <laughs> the dwarf knows a little bit better. Yeah, we're gonna go look for some people. You know, uh, you know anybody that knows the way around uh, the Sumber Hills? No, I was just like you see as you look over now. Um, actually, how tall are you? Uh, six foot. Okay, like only a little bit shy of your height is a female orc um half orc actually and uh and she's got uh black hair tied up tight in a ponytail behind her and she's got uh like armor on and everything and she's got a tankard in one hand she looks like she's been drinking even though it's morning you know like you but right, i feel like she got here a little bit earlier than you but she, uh, she kind of looks at you up and down. She goes, well, I just got here about two days ago. The, uh, I, 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 uh, I quit the caravan that I was a part of. I was hired to protect and everything. But I heard you talk about Mirabar. I got in a tussle with some Mirabon guards that, uh... Ah, perfect! You like, to, you like to have a little brawl as well! But, yeah, the guards were apparently a part of that those missing people. You Wait, you I, beat up some I, guards and then they disappeared? I, oh. no, like, back when, like, before we got to Red Larch. And then I hear that they're missing, and I was like, oh, maybe it's the same one, and I kind of asked around, and it seems like the same one. I mean, I wasn't part of the, like, yeah, I just, we did some scuffle, we, you know, pay to do a fighting matches and stuff, but, uh... You but get paid I, to fight? I, no, it we just put awesome. down a, <laughs> No, we, like, put in the loot, you know, y'all put in, and whoever wins the best of yeah, all the fights. Yeah, you got paid to fight. <laughs> you, listen... Alright, you, you lost me. This is, I couldn't I, care what less happened to them. I, I don't fucking care. But, since you're going out looking for them, uh, they... Damn, we, you, we were coming from uh, Ballard through Westbridge. Um, but yeah, we just got to Red Larch two days ago. Um, but we, I fought with them about... Mm, like two weeks ago. What? So you fought with them two weeks ago, and you just got here two days ago. You guys are slow. 
I mean, I don't set the pace. That's why I fucking quit, man. I just... I can't just sitting and... Fr That's why we all fought. We passed by each other and we decided to have, have a nice round. I hope you won. Eh. Close second. Almost. Your, your half-orc must be the upper half then. You're missing the lower half. It's what you need. You fucking pig. I mean, I have a pig. I know where it went, though. Then you don't have a pig. Uh, Alright. <laughs> That's true. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna find my pig, and I'm gonna show you. I like to see it. it takes a swig. But, uh, good luck finding the fuckers. Alright, pass through Belliard. None of this means anything to me, but I'll try and remember. Belliard through Westbridge. I don't see that on here. Oh, I see it. Uh, Alright. Uh, you guys, I don't, I don't know what these words mean. But uh, when we get the map, we'll check it out. I'm going to go find a guide. I'm going to walk outside and just immediately be like, I need a guide! <laughs> Very loudly. Who knows stuff about this place? Or up north. Oh, yeah. This place is in the town room? <laughs> I was going to say, I suggested to him saying like, At your one pinch of bear bar. Anyone been up north ever? You guys heard of the Lord of Lance Rock? I need the the Lord of Sumber Hills. Is that a is that a real thing? I'm just gonna, we'll keep walking up and down the streets, yelling like very loudly, trying to attack, attract the attention of people. I'm standing back. I stay in the tavern and eat breakfast while he's doing his. Slackers are supposed to be getting a map. I already, we already got the map. Oh, that, that was quick. Uh, any, any luck? Is yeah, hold me? on, hold on. Okay. All right. So, actually, how do you say your name? Your character's name, Garrett? Balian? Balian? You got it. You got it. Balian. Balian. Alright, <clears throat> so as you're, um... You're actually, you had come into town, you know, to get some supplies. Uh, on a caravan that you just basically hitched a ride with. And you're coming out of, like, a general store... Kind of like checking everything over, making sure that it's packed right. Nothing's going to be loose when you go traveling because, you know, all that stuff. And as you come out, you hear actually very loudly, like, come around the corner about 15 feet from you around the corner of the building coming around the main street is a half orc, uh, about six foot, so quite like, you know, Foot taller than you, a little over a foot taller than, or yeah, foot taller than you, and then uh, and plate mail and shouting. Split. split mail. Split mail. Oh yeah, not that's right. Not you went plate. To split mail. Not plate. Plate's expensive. So yeah, <laughs> so uh, split mail and um. Sweet pirate hat. And uh, sweet pirate hat. <laughs> yes. And you almost, you kind of recognize this character as he's yelling about hiring a guide. Is anybody Summer Hills, does that ring a bell anybody? <clears throat> well, I'll be a witch's or a Sahugan's titty. I look down, I hear that voice. What? What? Hey! 
It's my bay. <laughs> oh man, I didn't think I'd see it's you out here. It's been fucking what? It's been like three or four years. Yeah, I have no concept of time. What? It's been quite a while. I, I was hammered for a lot of that. What are you doing here? I figured you'd be like swimming around and I don't know, doing things in the water. Are you drunk? Well, I mean, I had a couple, I had a couple glasses at breakfast. I wouldn't say I'm drunk. Well, that's only a couple then. Then we need to fix that. That's what I'm talking about. This adventure can wait. Let's go have a few rounds. Oh wait. It sounds like a plan. We can catch up on a lot of shit. Let's go. Are you staying in this shithole? I mean, I'm just sleeping in like, in the fields and stuff. I guess. Does that count? In the field. I don't. I mean, I'm sleeping. I, <laughs> I don't like sleeping. Sometimes I pass out at the bar. I guess that counts. You you kind of notice you actually since your, he. You're outdoorsy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, since you actually did sleep outside yesterday, you, um, uh, Belly, and you actually kind of noticed that there's like a bit of grass and kind of dirt kind of stuck to his armor <laughs> and everything. You didn't hear a bark off them in their fields there. Ah, well, you know, I mean, I look around, like, kind of brush myself off. It's like, whatever, you know, don't really care what I look like. But the armor's still gonna work just fine. I'm just fucking with you, Galleon. Let's go get a drink. Hell yeah. It's right over this way. Yeah? yeah I'll tell you, why, don't we get, why don't we get some of that some whiskey? And uh, you tell me about this, uh, what you're looking at for a guide for. You're shouting up and down the streets like a madman. I don't know how else I'm supposed to find stuff around here. Everyone's always hiding in the house. It's like, they're scared of me. They're scared of you. Well, I don't get it either. You. I look like a respectable half-orc. Why do I gotta be racist? You're a fine gentleman. A very, you know, uh, an epitome of your species. I always liked you, pal. Let's go get hammered. Yeah, let's go. It's going far hopping. You're not gonna walk into the tavern again and be like, I'm back! Give us, a, give us a, a barrel of your finest ale. Do you have a preference? They got some really nice stuff. Oh, you got any whiskey here? I love I got whiskey. An ale for you, Galleon. Top of the line stuff. Oh, for me and my friend okay. here. What time of day is it? Though? It's like noon. <laughs> it's like noon. Are there people inside? Is this like a, this is like a pub? Yeah, it's a pub. It's uh... Like, it's, it's pretty active too. Like, uh, by noon. Like, so like a little bit bit of a lunch rush it's not super crowded um uh it does get crowded later at night but um it's uh, a lot of people eating midday stuff and then there are some people that are drinking and stuff and and whatnot as well all right while we're walking up to the bar i'm gonna i'm gonna pull out my harmonica yes and i'm gonna kind of like you know blow up a scale on it a little i once knew a fine last she had quite an ass. And then just start fucking hammering on my harmonica and, and singing while I'm waiting for the whiskey to come. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sitting down at my table, kind of like slap my leg back. Yeah, this guy knows how to play a fucking harmonica. I miss that shit. Who's your, who's your new friend? I was gonna say, for the people that are not Galleon, would you like to describe your character? Sure. Uh, I'm wearing like uh, a really polished breastplate, uh, not very tall, like five, little, maybe a little over five feet, uh, shoulder length, maybe a little bit past uh, reddish hair, um, uh, reddish stubble around my, uh, like starting to grow in a beard kind of thing, and uh, gray and blue, like bluish gray skin. Um, my portrait in the game is kind of like, sort of what I look like here. I actually put a... I'll, uh, I'll look at uh, Fezzik since he asked who my friend is like, Ah, oh, this is my, my great friend Baleon. We've uh, known each other for a long time. It's been a while. He, uh... I put a... 
I put a picture in Discord. It's like that, except for red, reddish hair and, and the beard. This man is a master of the harmonica and whatever other instrument he decides to play. And killing oh, Marge C. Yeah. Oh, I've heard, calling, I've heard it all. He's calling specimen of an orc over here. He's a kraken slayer. I've seen it with my own eyes. <laughs> I wasn't the one that finished that kraken off. It was you. I don't know, even know if I would have been standing bad. here. You were, chewing, you were chomping on one of his legs when I got up there. What can I say? I've always been a fan of calamari. Damn, you was squealing like a pig. Yes, he, uh, Bailey on over here. Found me at sea once with the uh, with the crew getting attacked by this massive kraken. We were having a little, a little bit of a struggle until he he just flew out of the sea and like landed his harpoon straight in this fucking bastard's head. Rocked him enough that we were able to fire the cannons off in his face. Let me tell you, what perfect timing. Then we all uh, had a nice uh nice round of beers to celebrate, and this man put on quite the show. Made him an oh, honorary crew member. You're too kind. Uh, I do miss the sea. And I miss miss being on your boat. <sighs> that makes two of us. Well, shit, it's quite it's quite a coincidence running into you here of all places. I really don't even know what I'm doing here, so I, it's quite a coincidence indeed. I'm just following my nose, trying to find uh, oh. some revenge. You looking for all revenge? I was gonna say either you're looking for a mate or you're looking for blood. One of the two. Maybe they're both the same thing. And apparently you're like living out in the brush in the gardens or something. I just, I don't. Fuck. This place reeks of dwarves. I don't want to sleep outside. If you want to be a farmer, that's all right with me. I don't, I don't mind me. I'm gonna keep, uh, Jess, I'm gonna keep playing uh, in between chatting and whenever we get our drinks, I'll kind of lean over to the, is it a barmaid or the bar barkeeper? It's a barmaid. I don't suppose we could throw the drinks in if I entertain your guests a little bit, maybe, maybe get them drinking and drinking a little early and, you know, wind it, run it up their bar tabs. We'll see you how you play, blue skin. You're a friend of Galleon, you're a friend of me. And she takes a swig of her own drink behind the bar and grins. Oh, I like you, lass. You've got the sense of spirit in you. I bet you're quite the party animal yourself. I and my uh, off hours only. Business is business. Understandable. Well, let me entertain while you serve. Performance check. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Only records with you. Oh, what? I can't roll it. I'm sorry, what? What? It's not letting me roll it. Are you grabbing it from the part where it says, like, total and it yeah. has like a little dice thing i'm trying to drag it into the chat window it says only records which you own can be shared what is it because i don't own the character uh, uh maybe you created it maybe you haven't c claimed it yet how do i do that i uh, pull up the character selection see if there's a character there that is uh it's not listed there hmm it says that uh, Balian is uh, owned by you. So it's owned by Scrawled Thrust. Like, I can see who everyone is owned by. Huh. Try doing a different check. So I would just grab the eye right next to the skill, right? And then... Nope, you could. Uh, you would grab You would grab the, uh, not the eye. Uh, just, like, oh, okay. the, the little dice icon that's, like, by the plus one or plus two or whatever you got. Oh, okay. That's probably what I yeah, that little, the little total. There you go. Oof. That's not bad, it's average. No, it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's technically it's, slightly it's, above average. Yeah, it's it's slightly above average, you know, so. I mean, 
you've been doing this for a while, so there, there's a few little hiccups, and we'll mostly blame it on I'm the fact that you keep... Yeah, I was going to say, I, I was actually going to bring that up. Because of the check, um, it, it, it kind of screws you up because it keeps stopping to, like, have the conversation with the barmaid. I call her the head barmaid because there's one other younger lass there that more, more does running and she runs the bar. And, um... And, uh, uh, and then talking with Galleon. And so, you know, it's good. It's just, it keeps getting interrupted, so. Sure. But the guys are, you know, like, people are enjoying it, you know. It's not like you're doing a cat's mating call or something. <laughs> That's what I call bed harmonica playing. It's all good. All right, it looks, like, it looks like it's a tough crowd here today. Perhaps they'll be a little more lively in the evening. I'll Usually actually, that's uh, how it is. Playing and, and I stop playing to, to like focus on the conversation a bit more. In Usually how it is, love. And she goes, She goes. you can have one on Galleon. I look shocked oh, at that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I that, that... my glass. Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'll, I'll glance down at my like half drinking barrel. I'm like, Ugh. yeah, that's fine. And, and then she reaches over and takes her tanker and pours it into yours, Galleon. Ah, excellent! It's like cheers. As I raise my glass and I, I say, look to everybody in the uh, like all the people that were listening. Your kids are gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> and then take a drink. <laughs> <clears throat> Ah, so, Balian. Yes, I'm. We are looking for a guide of the for the Sumber Hills. Something, uh, something. My dwarf over here needs help help with, and I'm bored anyways. There have been some uh, disappearances lately from uh, caravans leaving uh, Maribar, leaving Maribar, and then not showing up anywhere uh, along the way. I heard from this uh, half orc over here uh, that her caravan that she was with also left uh, through Belliard, through Westbridge, and somewhere along the way she quit because they're really slow, and they've just disappeared and never showed up. So, you know, I figured, why not? I don't have anything else going on right now. Maybe we'll go uh, look for these people, but, you know, Sumber Hills is a really big place. I have no idea where it is. I don't really feel like getting lost up there. So we figured maybe we'll find somebody that knows the lay of the land a little bit better. You know, I just do the fighting. I'm not really good at that survival stuff. Hmm. So is it Mirabar you want to go to or the, sl the sl Slumber Hills? Is that what you're saying? Well, somewhere between there. They just they left Maribar and then they disappeared. It could have been anywhere along the way. The the caravan of the the half orc they left Bellard and they were heading to Westbridge. But uh, you know it could have been it could be you know multiple people have gone missing. So that's just the, the one lead we currently have. The um. Hey. High commander of the order of the gauntlet sent me a letter saying that there was a delegation that disappeared um they were leaving Maribar um on the way um to Red Larch no sorry Actually, the letter doesn't say where they were going, um, but they did disappear somewhere, somewhere in the Slumber Hills. I forget where, where I'm at. We're in Red Larch, are, are we not? Yeah, yes, we are in Red Larch. I'm sorry, I misread. No, that's all right. I didn't. I didn't even know which town this was. See, I this guy knows what's, what's up. On the river. Oh, I miss the seas. The Desserin River is where I'm usually 
I mean, I know a little bit about the Maribyn River as well, heading from Luskin over to eastward towards Maribar, but the hills, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I could be much of a guide there. I'd be happy to try, but I'm a, I'm a landlubber, you might call it. Well, no, no, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm not good on the land. I don't know how you, how you people say it. <clears throat> hmm. That river passes through Sumber Hills, I think. It does. I know the I know the way around the river, uh, the river around the hills, the hills themselves. Uh, I don't usually stop there to shoot the ship. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's better than uh, anything else we've got going on right now. We could, I don't know, could check yeah. out up and down yeah. the river. You seen anything suspicious over there lately? Well, I mean, I guess everything's suspicious. I mean, between you and me, I've been going up and down these rivers for a year now, and uh, something's not right around here. And uh, there's, yeah, we found found some weird guy over here that's been like, I don't know, moving around rocks and getting people to believe the rocks are sending him signs and about something. I don't I don't really get it, but there's definitely some kind of a, a cult following happening around here. Uh, earth related. That might that might explain some of the things I've seen on the river with innards of of, of river creatures just left alongside the river banks and some of the the turtles and, and the fish they seem uneasy. They don't it's just the catfish are eating during the day and swimming toward the top instead of staying on the bottom and there's all sorts of weird shit going on. Sounds like it might be a good place to check. It's one the, it's one, the probably the most solid lead we got. Otherwise it's weather. just wandering around. Uh, the weather also seems to be awful as of late. It's a lot more rain than usual. A lot more dark and ominous clouds. You know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the weather around here but it did seem kind of a uh, Dark and ominous, as you put it. Just, it's just unpleasant. It's not natural, is what I'm saying. You, I want really, really such a thing. I wonder if we got if somebody's doing some weird shit with the earth magic. You think is somebody else messing with the water too? Earth magic and water magic. I don't know anything about that elemental shit. Um, I mean, it's you said there's some sort of occult around. So that's what it looks like. You have a demon and devil worshippers. They're always fucking things up. You never know with them. We there's have something otherworldly involved when they're when they're. We involved. have one of their higher ups in the constable's jail cell right now, but he uh, not talking much. Hey, your friend. I'm sorry. I, I excuse my manners, but what, what are your names again? The, the the lad that was just talking, and and then the other mate over there. I'm I'm Fezzik, Iron Beard of the Iron Beard. Boy. Nice to meet you, Fezzik. The name's Balian. Nice to meet you. I just make the sound of Balian. It's a Kenku. You make the sound of what? I'm sorry. Of fire. Right. Like crackling fire. <clears throat> so you look like a, uh, a bird-like creature? Is that... And, uh, Kenkus can't, don't have a voice. And they, they, their names are usually sounds of things they What do you What's call it? I what they're saying. I don't speak his language. I don't want to seem rude. Uh... Well, I don't know. Anytime I've asked him his name, he just makes this weird firing sa fire sound. Uh, I just kind of call him campfire. It's a sound, you know, the sound of my, my campfire makes when I'm camping out. I call him a fire bird. I, I nod my head in, in your direction and smile. <laughs> he's a weird one, but uh, he's good at killing stuff. So, uh, did I hear something about some Lord Commander or some some such things? Did you go and get yourself muster? Did you, you, you join the military? I, I have no part of this at all. This was uh, no, this is all the dwarf. 
Yeah, I'm part of the Order of the Gauntlet. Well, that sounds pretty... Boring. It sounds like, it sounds like you mean business. Oh, we just try to uphold the law. Are you the are you the law for this land here? No, but um, I try to do my. Fair enough. Do you uh, do you, any of you have a map of these uh, slumber hills? Like I said, I only really know the river around the hills. I mean, I could. Yeah, we have. Yes, we have. One. Oh. So, oh, which I put the map that they have in the general chat. So, yep. oh, oops. I'll point out that. Wrong, the wrong button. So put the, the, map uh, that they have in the general chat. The half orc over there said her caravan was going from Belliard, which is right here on the northeast part of Summer Hills, up through Westbridge. So they weren't even traveling through Summer Hills. Uh, we've heard other news of people disappearing in the Summer Hill. So it sounds like just anybody heading to the west might be disappearing. It's a very broad area and we haven't found a, a ton, ton of information outside of that. I, I mean, that's... You're talking like around 100 miles wide for the Slumber Hills from the west to east. Yep. Yeah, it's... Uh, you, that's thinking, you said northeast? Are you thinking near Belliard or the Stone Bridge? Yeah, somewhere along the way there, it sounds like uh, this this orc over here, her her caravan disappeared somewhere through there. She like speaks up from the corner. <laughs> Not my caravan. Whatever, it was your caravan until you fought him for being slow. No, you're gonna get all mixed up. My caravan was passing through. I met their caravan, and us guards had a little bit of a rough and tussle fight, and just. Uh, that's the last time I saw him, and then we got to Red Larch, and I fucking quit my caravan because okay. I didn't want to fight more. Okay, so it sounds like they traveled from Belliard to Red Larch and made it here safely, whereas the other caravan headed to Westbridge and was intercepted. So perhaps Summer Hills is not the main location where people are getting attacked. Do you think they might have been heading along that stone trail from uh, Belliard to Westbridge? As far as I know, that's the only trail going up that way. Yeah, Maybe that's a good go place to start. I'm not very good with the wilderness. Ah, it's mostly just grassy fields, I think. You've been sleeping in those. I'm really good at sleeping in those, but... uh, Put me out at sea and I'll be able to figure out where I'm going. Maybe yeah, if we I'm put ourselves out there, they'll find us. Maybe. Oh, that's a really good idea. Can't, maybe we should, like, get a fake caravan. Yeah, disguise ourselves as merchants or something like that. I'm not, I don't a fake know. caravan. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about uh, disguising myself. I only look one way. And what exactly are you trying to do? Uh, and out who's taking these people and where they're taking them. To. And I'm them. trying to uh, kill some bandits. Because, <laughs> you know. You said you have one of their men. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know how related they are to these guys, but some, some earth cult. Are related. Some earth cult in this city, which has done some questionable things so far. We have oh, one of their higher ups. I don't know if he's a leader or whatnot, but he's the the guy moving the fucking rocks around and convincing people it's some like act of God and making them these fucking idiots. It's just so funny how our entire thing is like, man, this guy moving rocks around, dang. I assume you've questioned the man you have captured. Well, we question him, uh, you know, as much as we could. He's not talking. The constable, he didn't really want me to go in there and, like, beat it out of him. Um, pretty sure I had the, uh, some evidence on him to uh, link him to the murders in the cave. Let the constable do some uh, 
detective work on that, see if we can link it to him, and then uh, maybe we'll be able to move on from there. But I don't know how long that was going to take. So uh, I was just, you know, looking for something to do in the meantime because I was bored. You found the mirror bar bars on Drink the bodies. Drink a good thing to do in the meantime. Uh, we also found these, and I take out, like, the, the trade bars. It's like, found these on the body, too. Uh, pretty sure somebody, these are from Maribar. Which, uh, you know, if he's got these, he might be related to all the, uh, you know, the robberies happening. I probably should have mentioned this sooner, but I didn't really think about it. I just woke up. I thought, I thought you sold those. She didn't want them. I tried to sell them. It's probably for the best that she didn't buy him because, uh, I don't think about it. This is probably good evidence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. Good one. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll go talk to the constable again before we leave. Yeah, let's see if, uh, that guy that we have locked up knows anything about these disappearances. Bad. Let's go. Come on, Balian. I'll go show you to my buddy, the constable, and his friend, Stan. Yeah, you don't mind if I join you, then? Absolutely not. <laughs> this sounds interesting. I could write a tale or two about this. I don't know what you've been doing lately, but uh, I've been having a good time here so far. It's been the killing the boredom. You're more than welcome to accompany us. It sounds... It sounds like something I could I, I, I could write the, the tale of Galleon Rin, the, the Kraken and Occultist Slayer. Now and you're talking! Companions. And his companions Fezzik and and uh, Fire? Is it their campfire? I don't Whatever it is. The man over there. The bird? I'm, I'm, my interest is, uh, is peaked, for sure. Especially if there's more whiskey to go around and you don't mind me singing a, a tune along the way. I always make sure that there is whiskey to be had. Some things never change. Oh, shit. What? Hey, ha- the uh, Half-orc! Ah, what, what? Is the other half-orc that was drunk, and she's, like, kind of, like, lifting her face off of her dick, and she goes, I heard you getting shit confused again. I, I don't think I mentioned this, but I bought them in... Belliard, not in Westbridge. That's just where we went. We didn't go through the hills, but I fought them in Belliard. Uh, who did you fight in Belliard? Uh, these freaking uh, other the guards for the the troop that went missing. Oh, you guys went to Westbridge. Yeah. Westbridge doesn't get you. How do you get to fucking Red Larch if you're going to Red Westbridge? Down the fucking long road. I've never been that way before. We didn't want to go through Sumba Hills. So you're saying the people that disappeared did go through the Sumba Hills? Maybe, but... I don't really know any other... All right. Maybe. But where I met with them at, uh, at the tavern, you know, just we, we got together and I they had mentioned they were from... Mirabar, and you know, neither of us had seen anything on the road really, and just we had a few rounds of fighting. That's the last time I saw him. That was two weeks, uh, however, yeah, two weeks ago. Two. All right, well, I guess that does uh, make the Summer Hill seem slightly more suspicious. So, I mean, there's really only one way through, right? The large path. That's the only way they could have. Unless they know some side trails. Or the Deserin Road. That goes through Belio. Both and south. Well, then they would have had to go down the Karn Road over to the Desian Road, right? I mean, if they were in Belliard, Deserin Road runs through Belliard. I don't really know where they were going, oh, but I see, I see. sounds I see like that. That, would, that, would, that would put them through the eastern slumber hills. I see what you're saying. I... Do we know where they were headed? Were they headed toward 
we red large. We maybe. we don't know where they were headed. But if her caravan was heading up through Westbridge, if they were also not following them, there really isn't any other way to go other than south, unless they were turning back around to go to Maribar. That gives us a nice uh, idea of where to look. But, before that, let's go talk to my pals at the constable's office. Yeah. I'm gonna mosey on down there. friends and the local authorities. Why am I not surprised? Well, you know, everybody just loves me so much. I'm just such a nice guy. I've been doing him so many favors around here, killing so many bandits. Break a few jobs, just don't, yeah. just don't mention to the constable about him being a pirate. Who called him a pirate? And that guy gave you the job, by the way. Did you ever get a price? He didn't give you a job, he just talked about it. We're not getting paid for this. This is this is the dwarf's job. I wonder if we can get a little bonus pay on top of that, though. It's That's not his point. business, it's not his town. But... You know, you don't know who wants them alive. So I'm going to bust into the constable's office. Constable! I've had breakfast! Oh, joy, Galleon. Do you want some, uh... I uh, brought my, my tankard with me. And I, I set it down like half full. Do you want uh, the rest of my, my ale? Yeah, no, I brought some for off you. off the papers! Off, all right, off! All right, all right I, I really didn't want to give it away anyways. And I slammed the rest of it. Uh... <sighs> You know, I'm really good at fighting stuff. I don't have the best memory around. Something just came to me though. I found uh, mm. I found these on the uh, the person of uh, our friend down there, and I set down the mirror bar trade bars. These were on him. As far as um, I know, these are only the from the guy downstairs. Yep, it's one of the few things I found on him. I'm told. They're from Maribar. They are. What do you think he would be doing with these? Well, I mean, it's money. So, if he's been up that way... Oh, or... If I mean, he was yes, people. there is a possibility, but I can't go on money. Now, once we figure out what's happening with the dagger, which you just gave to me... How long does it fucking take? What does magic do? I'm not a magic guy. Don't you guys got some kind of way you wave your hands back? That's the guy. Actually, on object stuff, I don't know. Small town. What? He said it's a small town. Yeah. It's a small town. It is. So he has to, like, send out for somebody. Ugh. And he's like, I can't just magically poof a magic user here. I wish I could. Don't have a sending stone to any magic user. So. What, what are you trying to do? My, oh, my name is Balian, by the way. I'm a friend of Galleons. Um, of course like... you're a friend of Galleons. You, you pack an interesting lot around you. Mm. Oh, what can I say? People like to stay around winners. He called me interesting. I like him. <laughs> It's not every day you see uh, sea folk, right? Right, it is. It's yeah. a bit far inland, isn't it? Hmm, bit. And the river's a bit of a trek, too. So. I, I came up to get some people there to take the barge up the up the river, but I mean, I ran into an old friend here. So, what's this about some? man trapped in a jail that you need a magic user for. Well, Galleon. If you, if you don't mind me asking. Galleon this, said uh... a dagger that he found down there, he showed it to the guy and he said it was his, but he hadn't seen it in weeks. And it seems to have blood on it from bodies that were found uh, in an underground type of cavern Looks to be dwarven main type uh, 
I don't know, not a temple or anything, just a, ser a small series of tunnels and rooms. And, um, and maybe they can find out, like, what happened with it. I don't know. Something. If there's something they can do, that's what I'm trying to send out for someone. Like, I, I don't know this magic stuff. So. Are you trying to see if the dagger ties to the man in the cell? Or I you mean, already know that it ties to the man in the cell? Uh, he said it was his. He said it was his, but is there a way to know that it was him that did it? There's blood on it, and the blood probably ties to the person, if there's a way to do that. But I don't know. I have no idea. So I've, I've, I've well, said... You normally deal with criminals that you don't know if they did the job or not. Well, it seems blatant yeah, enough. We gotta cool. put someone away. He's probably gonna put someone... Or we're probably going to put him away. But I figured I'd try and see if there's a way to guarantee it. But if not, well, he's just gonna fucking rot in the, in the basement now, isn't he? Because we got dead people down there. And... We have him saying he's innocent, but this dagger apparently says otherwise. So. I like the idea of letting him rot down there, but, uh. If his believers believe hard enough, he might be able to get out. If you know what I'm saying. The constable gives you this weird look. Like, to do some weird magic stuff. He also. He, I don't know, he does stuff with Earth. Think you could get out of the jail cell. I don't know. He's a magic user. Maybe his Maybe friend's a magic user. He have a dirt floor. It's true. Well, it'd probably be like dirt or like, you know, stone. It's stone. Yeah. So I don't we, think it was dirt. He, 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 moves, he moves the stones. Like, what's stopping from moving the stones at the wall of the cell? Well, we have Stan down there, and they... Oh, my man, Stan. <laughs> I trust in that guy. He's watching him. He hasn't done anything. Yet. And uh, now that you mention it, that, that's a little concerning. We don't have anything that kind of nullifies magic, and... Do you have to have something to use magic, or can you just do magic? I have no idea how magic works. Need... Please... Can't hear you. What? Uh, you are coming in very soft, Lou, so it's hard to understand you most of the time. Not much better. Because I, I figured out he was a cleric. So he doesn't have to hold. Holy symbol. Are you guys able to hear me? At all? We we can a little bit. It's uh, it's kind of like muffled and not too too loud. I have you turned up to two hundred percent. I can still be able to hear you. Yeah, I just turned you up too. Can I turn it up on my side or is that on your side? Uh, you no, it's can... on our side. Well, yeah. it's like individual people you can turn up and down, and in uh, Discord. So you can probably turn yourself up too, but I don't know. Well, yeah, but there's only so much you can control on your side for someone else. Right. That you can control it, Correct. So. Um, but yeah, so, oh, so, oh, we took all of his stuff. Well, if he doesn't have a, he says you need a, a oh, holy no. symbol to cleric, so. need a fucking wand? I, I didn't see a wand. At least I don't think so. But we have all of his stuff. He's just got his clothes. Does it, does he have a magic dick? <laughs> I don't know, Galen. You want to go fucking check? You told me I couldn't go in there. You can't. I don't know, then. He's got a holy symbol tattooed on his body. I didn't fucking look. I don't even know if that's how that works. Or his hands bounce. You can know it's just bind his hands for most things. Maybe tape his mouth, gag him too. If you're really worried about him whisking himself away with some sort of earth magic. Yeah, don't. People have to like s <clears throat> say some magical words, and do some weird shit with their hands most of the time. Usually, unless they got some sort of powerful item on their body. He doesn't have any necklaces, no symbols. We just made sure he had basic clothes on just because he seat like, 
freaking like he he didn't really have anything on him. Yeah, maybe bat bit bind his hands, gag him, take the gag out and force feed him every now and then. Sounds if he's, like you want a job, huh, Galia? If he's the, you want to oh, be his nanny. He won't survive the night if I'm his nanny. Why did I even ask? Fucking joking. Sounds like he might not be uh, able to get himself out. If you guys do a good job, maybe keep an eye out from the outside. Again, these guys were moving around stones, dirt, just causing like fucking rock slide underground. He can probably get out of the jail cell if he wants to or given the opportunity. We'll keep an eye on him. We already have an eye on him. He's the only one down there, so. Oh, yeah, because I killed the rest of the bandits. That you did. All right, then. More paperwork for me. I mean, they were bandits. They deserved it. It's still fucking paperwork. All right, well, I guess this really hasn't done much. Yeah, in the I, hour that you've been here. I'm going to take my trade bars. Oh, you're taking them? Uh, what about I, having them for evidence? Is it, do you want them for evidence? Sure. You're not going to spend them, are you? I can't spend them here. I'd have to be in Maribar. Or oh, know somebody going to Maribar. All right, whatever. I don't want him You anyways. found him on his body. Give take him. him. Take him. All right. Just fuck whatever you got to do to fuck get this guy out of here. He's really stupid, and I don't like him. He's not going anywhere. We don't have some main cell somewhere. But you won't see him. He's in the basement, in the cells. Can I break his legs? No, you cannot Fine, break I'm done his here. legs. What about his hands? The hands are probably more effective. It's, you're right. He like rubs his, like one hand down over his face. Galleon, get the fuck out! Galleon, I think maybe it's time for us to go, you know? Yeah, hold on one sec. Hey, Stan, I'll see you later, man. Say hi to the wife. Who are you? <laughs> I love you. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, did we discuss the price for this cabin? Uh, turn around and look at the console bag. Look him up and down, like, slowly. Now, do you, uh, now might not be the best time to negotiate. <laughs> do you, uh, do you want to... If what? We, yeah, you, if we can figure out what's going on with all these disappearances, do you want to give us money? Not really. I'm sure whoever's is missing them. For figuring it out? Dude, no. The the request has come to me. I asked Gellion if he heard anything since he likes to fucking trump around my town. And... I don't know if I would call it trump, but... Stomping, yelling. I do a lot of the yelling, yes. A lot of requests came in, the, like, it came in through uh, caravans first, like just whisperings of it. And then I've gotten a few different letters asking if they had seen them as a, a, over the course of the last couple days. No official request then. If a, if a bounty shows up for them, you save that for us. Oh, sure. If a bounty comes in. Constable, what's your name? I didn't catch your name. Fuck. I just had it. Harbrook. Harbrook. Harbrook, yeah. Constable Harbrook. 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 Har 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 Harbrook is a fine name. Very strong. Is there is there a reward if I get Galleon out of your hair for a little while? We we go looking looking into this and you get some peace of mind. Ooh, good tech. I kind of I kind of look at him a little shocked. I weigh my options like I, I like money. I wink at you. <laughs> how long? Make a persuasion. <laughs> yeah, make a persuasion. Like how long? 
Well, I mean, it's 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 some travel up to the Slumber Hills, so. <laughs> he leans back in his chair, looks at you, looks at Galleon. Flash my teeth. Looks back at you. With Did like a quick, a, with a quick. Active flashing teeth as a menacing thing? Or? No, flashing smile. teeth as a smile. Little and twinkle. he kind of like flicks his wrist and a small pouch like kind of flies at you. Catch it. Spit in my right hand. Go to shake his hand. Stands up, shakes your hand. Now get the fucking uh, hell out of here. <laughs> there's a good constable. I'll get him right out of your head. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Galleon. I'm going to be back later, all right, constable. You keep staying safe. It's going to be a little while. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Galleon, we, we got a cultist to go find in the mountains. All right. Sounds, uh, sounds a lot more fun to hang around here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna go head up, uh, head up the, the shop real quick and try and pick up some rations. It's gonna be a long trip. Well, I'll help you buy it. I, I shake the pouch at him. Yeah. Ah, I miss you! We got plenty of, uh, supplies. I stocked up. I already stocked up when I went to go buy the map. How much was the map, but... Guess how much is the map? Hold on. Is anybody talking about she, anything? She's typing stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna go to the. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go to the uh, the general store or wherever they would have rations. Okay. Buy some stuff. Basically, like a game. By game, I mean like hunting store and stuff. So rations like dried meats and yep, all that and stuff. You know, uh, the map. Let me look real fast. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's not like super baby. hardcore. Wait, I got now. There's two more. I also, what? Yeah. yeah, it hurts, baby. It hurts. Um, I know I have. I didn't. Dungeoneer's pack. I did have that. Oh, there we go. What? No. I have one day, one ration. Where's my rope? My rope. Snap and rope. I do not have. I already use that. on our way to uh, the supplies. <laughs> the supply store, the, the general store, wherever it is. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. just checking prices. And yeah, stuff. he was walking to like a, a general, like a food <laughs> supply. Gotcha. Um, like a game store. So there's probably like on one side, there's stuff to hunt slash weapons. And then on the other side, kind of like dried meats, nuts, stuff that lasts a while. Gotcha. I uh, I take out half the money out of the pouch and I hand it to you, Galleon. For the for the supplies, there you go. And uh, twenty five gold I give you. Ooh. As we walk in, I'm playing back harmonica music that sounds very familiar. You're like singing it out of your mouth. Yeah, he yeah. can imitate any noise. So yeah. he's Im imitating your harmonica that you played earlier. 
What happens when he gets to the part where he was pausing? Do you like sound like him talking? <laughs> uh, I think I skip. Uh, I'm just doing the music. Gotcha. I have what's called perfect mimicry, so I can uh, yeah back anything. I did. So basically, like as you're walking, all of a sudden you hear your harmonica song from earlier. No, baby. Coming from. Oh, I'll be a Ableist mother. That's that's a fine tune you're singing there. You care to join a band? Uh, hmm, I don't have any. Uh, I just nod my head. <laughs> no, 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 I know. I, I care. I, I repeat back in your voice. Care, I care to join a band. So you hear your own voice come out of him. Care to join a band? <laughs> I'm just. I got this wide-eyed, amazed, like dazzled look on my face. I pause for a second. Hold my finger up. And I play like I pull out my harmonica and I play like a rhythm, like a rhythm line. Uh, you know, like a uh, a bass, a rhythm bass with it, and I kind of motion my hands for him to do it and repeat it. Instead, uh, I have my Raven do it. He does the rhythm. So there's a Raven, raven like also there's has a, mimic. Yeah, so there's the the bird person. Then there's a Raven sitting on his shoulder that can mimic as well. So all of a sudden, instead I like of him, to jump back a foot. That is amazing. You're an amazing man, and you're a fine bird, too, looking at, at the bird on his shoulder. And then I start playing, uh, it's like a bluesy rhythm, and I start playing a uh, melody on my, on my harmonica as we're walking. And then I play that, the bass thing, and the bird plays a harmonica. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, God. We're a trio band. Basically, you have a soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> good, good pickup. That's kind of exactly what we're doing. <laughs> so we're walking Ooh, along. Thank you. You got a rhythm bot in here. <laughs> we have pick me a uh, diaper. Yep. It's time. Thank you. Hey, Peter. Are you there? <clears throat> Anybody else that's familiar with bards? What's up? I'm vaguely familiar with them. Looking for a fifth first level spell that I should take. I, I'm, I haven't finished my spells yet. I have Dissonant Whispers, Tasha's Hideous Laughter, Fairy Fire, and Healing Words. Sleep is really good. Can you, like, you can relearn spells. You can, like, change spells later on, right? Like, there's something, some mechanic about swapping spells out later. Uh, I don't know about Bard, but if it's anything, yeah, if it's anything like Sorcerer, it's, it would say so in the, in, at the Bard list. But uh, Sorcerers, every level get to swap uh, spells, or one spell. Yeah, additionally, when you gain a level in this class, you can choose one of the bard spells you know and replace it with another spell from the bard spell list. Yep. Which also must be the level for which you have the spell slots. Yep, which is good because sleep's super sleep good for lower okay, levels. Right yeah, but not so great later. So, like, level three is pushing it to where it's not going to be as useful. It's like I could take sleep or I could take cure wounds instead. Like a subclass or something? Huh? Oh, there it is. I guess it all depends on what kind of uh, bard you're trying to be. I, I see a lot of here, a lot here that could be good. Sure, good. You know, I'm a melee bard. I'm we like, do well, try and... Go ahead. Sorry. Just say like, uh, if maybe if you, you disguise self could be good if that's the kind of thing you're trying to do if you're not going to be you know sneaking around and tricking people too much yep, things like detect magic like 
Yeah, detect magic can be decent. Uh, let's just pure melee one. Thunderwave could be good because that's all of things around you, but that's really loud, so that can have its downsides. Uh, you also are a ritual caster, so picking up things like detect magic can be cast as a ritual, so it won't actually consume a spell slot. I yep, this one I'm going to put in my uh, spell book in that right. Mm-hmm. Do warlocks have spell books? Are you um, it's, Tome, uh, uh, Pact of the Tome does. Yeah. Gosh. Not all of them do, but some do. That affects all... Thunder Wave affects all creatures around you. I would the... Yeah, yeah, including us. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's a, it can be risky, but if if you're not around them and just have a bunch of guys around you because you're trying to do melee stuff, yeah, there's like a lot of things that pretty well. I guess really all the indies are uh, situation you know, situation you're in and what you're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of their situational for sure. Oh, it still does 2d damage on a failed save? Oh, half as much damage on a... Like, most, most, more bards are... Try not to get up in the mix of it, I think, but... So, you put it back? It's not the... If yeah. you're if you trying to stay at range, it's not as good, but if you're planning on, you know, being, doing a lot of melee, then I can see that. Yeah, it might be good, too, because I have a glaive, so... I thunder wave them back, and then they have to like come in. They have to like move at me if, uh, <clears throat> if they want to get in melee again with me. Yep. And then if if the push them back, then they, and you need to move, then it gives you a chance to move without. Yep. Okay. Uh, false life is also not bad. Uh, Pete, do you know what the rule is with casting and with two-handed weapons? Like, can I? Hold it in one hand to cast with my right hand or something, or how does that? Ooh, a two-handed I, weapon. I'm pretty pretty know. sure. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure the ruling uh, by rules as written is when you're holding a two-hander, you can't do somatic components. So this. Oh, do you have a hold? It? You can't. What? Yep. Uh, Thunder wave wouldn't be any good. So do oh, you have like a? Can drop it if I need yeah, you could like. Uh, you wouldn't be able to attack with it, but you could stop holding it with one the hand. Focus well, is I've like read the focus. Okay, so this is what I had wanted to do as a bard and and everything too. Is if I had something two handed, um, I was going to ask you about it in our campaign, but I will allow it in my campaign. Is that we can make your focus your weapon? No, he he's he's asking if because he's holding it. Mm-hmm. It's, the components are verbal and somatic, so oh, you would sorry. need a free hand to cast. So like, is is yeah. wait? It's so oh, you're usually clay. Okay. Rules, the the like in the spirit of the rules, it doesn't make sense to me that you wouldn't be able to hold it in one hand to cast in your right hand. I'll um, Google it real quick and see what they um, say. Uh, I agree. I think it, would, it should be fine to either like. You know, maybe like with one hand, like let the weapon like kind of like rest on the ground while you're doing. Yeah, it's not like you can't things. carry it with. Yeah, it's not. It, it's not going to matter too much next level because next level I'm I'm taking a feat at fourth level instead of uh, War, bomb, Warcaster. I'm Warcaster. Yeah, and oh, then yeah. It won't matter, yeah. That, I got that plan too. I was just curious. Um, I can always drop it if I need to. It says, um... It says you can drop the weapon, cast, and then pick it up as part of your movement. Well, what? Dropping oh, the no, weapon no, right is like here, a... Right here, I found it. What? Taking your hand off, uh, right on uh, stack exchange. The PHB errata says, two-handed weapon, page 147. This property is relevant only when you attack with a weapon, not when you simply hold it. Yeah. You can hold it with one hand while you're that's, not attacking with it. Sorry, that's okay, what so I was so saying without... If you haven't attacked that turn, it's fine. I, I was going to say, I wouldn't have said it anyway. Um, or I would have said that anyway. Like, I don't think that makes sense for a two-handed weapon. You don't always have to have it two-handed. Correct. Like, you can... 
uh, you can have a two-handed weapon and cast while holding the weapon in one hand. Like, otherwise... So as long um, as you're not doing, like, uh, swinging the sword as part of an action and... Oh, you, you can't though. Well. I don't. I think a spell and a would. attack are the same thing. Yeah, I can well, see it be some weird no. gray if, area if, where you're, if you're doing like an attack and a bonus you, action spell right. or something like yeah. that. You can only cast on. one spell per turn. But so like if I was a sorcerer now, and I use quicken quicken magic to quicken a spell and make it into a bonus action, I could make a melee attack and still cast a fireball same turn. But I don't know if there's too many things like the only bonus action spell that I have right now is healing word, and there's no there's it's only a verbal component. It would be more like, uh, you know, if I wanted to attack a, a, me a melee attack, like on my sorcerer, and then quicken a spell. Right, right. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I guess I, I, I personally think that would be a DM's call thing, but. Um, yeah, I, I still think it'd be fine to, like, attack with a weapon and then kind of, like, take your hand off it to cast a spell if you had it as a bonus action. Also, it says in something I'm reading that. Um, bards and some other ar arcane classes could also, uh, basically they make less elaborate somatic, uh, motions and some, t and because this is talking about armor and it says they would, uh, have less of a chance of, uh, arcane fail. So anyway, besides the fact that bards apparently have less somatic stuff, I, I don't know, whatever, where that's quoting from, there is footnotes here. Yeah, I have to look up each spell. I don't really know what, what has somatic, what doesn't. Yeah. Oh, that's from actually Monty and um, Jonathan tweet, I guess. Jonathan, whatever his last name is. Mm. A tweet of his, and then uh, also Monty is what are they quoted. Saying again? Basically, that bards have less elaborate somatic component, components or somatic uh, gestures. So, like, well, the risk of failure is lower. Like for oh, okay. like armor and stuff like that. So, besides, I just think it's my call. Like I don't think that's yeah. a big deal. Holding a two-handed weapon, and yeah, if you can if you can use a two-handed weapon and fight with it properly with two hands, then you can hold it fine with one hand. So I I agree. I don't see that being a problem really. Yeah, I don't know how it is. Like, in if it was let's say. Uh... Like back in three point five, dropping your weapon and doing that might have uh, caused an opportunity attack. But I don't think they have that. No, that's yeah, that's not how the opportunity attacks work in fifth. Honestly, in fifth edition, you should be able to drop the weapon as a free action, cast your spell as your action, and then pick the weapon back up as your interaction all in the same turn. Yeah, I said, Seems I said that. That's what I read. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could see that being swashbuckly, but it also seems goofy. Like you'd have, to, you'd have to do that. Yeah, just yeah, that's just. Weird it, it is, it is weird. But that's technically. Yeah. Uh, let us know when you're ready, since you were the only one eating. Yeah. Just give me a sec. Yep. Uh, so I bought. 20 days of rations and 20 water skins uh, to, to pass out to everybody. That's so, like, five for each of us. I mean, it's pretty far away. It's just five days. Like, for four people, 20. It's just, yeah, it's five days. So, do, do we have a horse? We don't. We don't. Okay. I can, I can summon something from my bag of tricks, and if it's a bear, I can make him carry it. I'm just thinking how we're going to carry all that, but that's fine. Well, well, technically, rations even... Rations aren't that big, I don't think. Rations are two pounds per ration, and the water skins are five pounds per water skin. Currently, I can carry all of it, but it's pretty close to my uh, maximum carrying capacity right now. I don't know what my carry capacity is. If you so have basically... everything set up, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom of your inventory tab, it shows you your encumbrance. Um, maximum's 210. Okay. So I can carry like 100 pounds right now. Yeah. That's actually, I'm not, I don't think I've equipped stuff. Like, I don't think it counts stuff that you're wearing. If you, yeah, so if you click on the, what shows a little bag or armor icon, if you click it to armor, yeah. then it will count it as being equipped. Yeah, that little circle icon, it'll show like a, either a bag for carried. Yep. An arm, yeah. Okay. Or, uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's changing my weight though, so I guess it still counts uh, encumbrances, things you're wearing. Did fix my AC though. There you go. Um, but yeah, I can carry. I mean, I, as long as I'm not picking anything else up, I'm still under my maximum carry weight. Oh, and by the way, to uh, to answer your thing from before, Lance Rock is like literally one yeah. little step away from Red Large. It's but it's more than one hexagon, so it's still more than ten miles. Uh, just over ten miles. Right. So here's Red Large. So we're going over here. So there's ten miles. So it's probably like fifteen. It looks like one and a half hexagons. In my detail map that has the hexagon, it's like here's the hexagon. It's like right there. Kyrie's up. Kyrie, go back to bed. Yeah, I do. I go through this every night. Go back to bed. Go back to bed. Yes. Yeah, you gotta go to bed. You gotta go to sleep. Kyrie does not want to sleep tonight. Oh, he's just still trying to put her. Well, yeah, we we're just getting ready to set back up again, and then we saw Kyrie walk out of her room, so now we're trying to get her back. Are you gonna go to sleep in mommy's spot? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Hit the light then. I I didn't notice the the Cody Cody came by. He him and uh, Matt came by my stream and started talking shit. Are you streaming this? Yeah, I stream all of them. Okay. Well, I, I didn't ever, never stream the D and D sessions we did, but I recorded them so I could upload them. Um, and now I'm streaming and re recording locally so I can still continue with the uploads. Yeah, Cody came into to the chat channel and said, "Quit hit on birds" or something like that to me. He he said that. Yeah, he said that in the uh, in Discord, but on in my Discord, stream yeah. he said, "Tell Garrett to stop hitting on birds. I want to sit on Daddy Giggity." And then uh, Matt came by and he emoted <clears throat> that he invited me to play Final Fantasy XIV. Because <laughs> he would always invite me on Steam and I disabled invites. So. Shelby, you're being really okay, very needy. Bed, all right? My dog's Go like, sleep. he's pawing yeah. at me to pet her. I love you. I know. I know. Mama's gone for the weekend, so you're all, yes, girl. I love you. all nervous and worked up. No. Yeah, my dogs have been uh, like, uh, me in the elbow with the nose off for the last uh, hour or so because <laughs> they wanted their dinner. And now uh, we got to feed them their dinner. Like food, attention. All set. Yeah, I'm good now. All right, so yeah. we should be good. Food, attention, and then she crawled out onto the couch where yeah, I sleep she sometimes. She apparently decided she wanted to sleep out on the couch, so hopefully uh, she actually sleeps and doesn't just keep bothering us. We'll see, but uh, we should be good to go. Joe, are you here? Joe! Yeah, I'm here. Cool. Yeah, 12 minutes. 12 minutes? What? Yep. Until? So I gotta go. Oh. Okay, so noted. So we'll... Should we just call it right then? We can call it, um, because you guys are just... Based... If you want to go through any last minute things of getting ready, um, you guys were kind of talking about a horse, um, and then next time we get together we can start a little earlier too i just took a while to get everything set getting up getting set up and yeah. i was kind of hoping that john would sneak in um yeah. but he's got some weird eye thing going because he cannot see out of one eye right now 
and yeah, he went that's to the doctor. Weird. Yeah, like he basically woke up and he thought it was something like pink eye or an infection. He has like double vision in one eye. And he went to emergency room at like four or like four ten to his um oh no, earlier I guess. And then they're like, Oh, we can probably see you on Monday. He goes, So I have to go through the whole weekend like this? And then ended up getting sent to an office. Uh, and his appointment was at 4.30, but he didn't message me back, so they probably, like, dilated his eyes or something, and he can't see right now. <laughs> anyway. Anywho. Yeah, that's shitty. I don't wish that on anyone. No, I don't either. I depend on my eyes for so much. Right. I mean, you don't think about it until something happens and so it scares the crap out of you. Anywho. But yeah, if you guys want to, I don't know, if you want to try and get a horse, a pack mule... Or summon a bear from your sack, but at the I end can, of the day, all this stuff's gonna clatter to the ground. I can carry it all; it's fine. I was just imagining you with like all that stuff. You're like, I can carry it, but I'm so close to being over encumbered. So true. I just imagine you coming out of the store with your arms full, <laughs> and you're just like, I got, my I got everything. <laughs> got some stuff. Where's my bag of holding? Oh god. Ugh, it's not for a while. Oh uh, god. <laughs> I'm only 165 out of 210 encumbrance. I can help carry some. I mean, I, I can carry like 100 pounds, so I'm, I can definitely help Yeah, that. I mean, if you guys want to carry I was gonna your say, stuff, you I have five, five rations and five water skins for everybody. He just really wants to carry it all to make sure. <laughs> yeah. So I'll pass it out. Everybody can add five rations, five water skins to their inventory. Plus, we get, well, while we're out, we can do, like, uh, world survival checks to yep. try and, you know, get up, uh, find food or whatever, and if we pass, then we yep. can we'll be by the right and stuff. For a day. Do we think we're going to need more than six days? I have six, six days worth of rations. Done. Same, yep. Okay. I think it will be all right, and again, we can, we can like, go <clears throat> fishing or whatever we need to do as well. Right. I have 21. What? Where'd you get so many? I bought ten, and then you get, just gave me five more. Oh boy, you're set. So if anybody needs food, so we're good then. Yeah. Besides the fact that you could possibly, you know, go kill some birds. Yeah, I could kill a bear. As long as you guys know how to like skin it and cook it, hopefully. So I can how kill would a that bear. work? How would that work with that? Uh, that bag that you have, if you like threw out an animal and we killed it and ate it, would the I'm would glad it disappear I'm, out of uh, digestion. I'm track? glad you asked that question because they sure. they tried that exact same thing in the D and D online campaign that I I'm watching and okay, it just disappears know. from inside of you and you feel hungry again. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's hilarious. But how, how long does it take to eat though? Or how how long does it take to disappear? It, they, they disappear at, at dawn. Yeah, so, so it just, know, so basically feel full. In, yeah, technically in the, in yeah, the morning, yeah, if you, do it, if, you do it, if you do it first thing in the morning, then yeah, you probably still get most of it. Yeah, but so basically if they had it for like a late night, like dinner, like, oh, before, you know, the end of the day, we should go <laughs> and really kill. In the morning. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you wake up and you're like, oh, like so Why hungry. so hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That actually is funny, because as soon as you asked that, I was like, I don't freaking know. Yeah, they have a bag of tricks on Dungeons of Jack 9. Nice. Not a rust one, but... I mean, they're pretty much all the same, except the different animals. Yeah. So. Alright, well, uh, I guess if we only have, like, seven minutes left, we can just call it now, then. Yeah. And, as I okay. said, unless there's anything anyone wants to do, whatever... Uh, getting the supplies was the main thing, and then we were gonna head out. I wasn't really looking to get like a mule. I didn't want to like micromanage a mule through the fucking hills. I mean, I'm, I'm a man. I can carry someone, stuff. Hopefully, someone, if you ever decide to do that, someone has some animal handling. Definitely not me. I don't it's think you typically animal. need uh, <laughs> animal handling that are specifically trained. For this. Well, yes, if you got a trained horse and it was made for hauling stuff but you know when things 
jump out at it or if there's a, a wild animal that comes that you got to make sure that you can keep it calm at least it's true like i'm not gonna like over like make you check for <laughs> yeah he's barred he can try a lot of things oh yeah oh i know i can't wait to get to that level shot. <laughs> i can do <laughs> any check i want <laughs> Nice. All try. right, well, we got through all the uh, little bumps of using Fantasy Grounds. Next time you get, to, you guys will get to see how cool it can be uh, with combat, probably. Yeah, I showed it, it Joe a little combat, bit like, of combat. Really nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hell yeah. All right, Boop. thanks for uh, thanks for doing all this. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Yep. Yep, see you in a couple weeks. And I'm super excited because this is way more organized than a book. Or yeah, at least it, my look, book. it looks like she bought the campaign on Fantasy Grounds, and when they had to write it up to put it in there, they fixed all the issues that the book has, which is it's very it's very Scat. hard to follow. It doesn't it's very scattered. It has you going all over the place to reference things. But here, when they did it over here, it's a lot nicer and easier to follow. So it just made things a lot easier for. It. It's literally like, hey, if they did this, you, there's three different options. You can remind them of these things if they found this, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, this is so great. Yeah, whereas the other one, I was like, see this page, go to this page, go flip around over here. And I go to this chapter. Off. It's a completely yeah. different chapter of the book. So. Hey, uh, Jess, before I go, yeah. uh, Crystal wants to know if you're coming to the baby show. It's on November 3rd, it's a Sunday. That's nothing going. Sorry, I'm just confirming that there's nothing happening. I'm not doing anything. Oh, I'm working good. that day though, so you say, uh, we have to your mom to watch it. That's true. Um, tentative, yes. Uh, because Peter is always working on Sundays. And yep. So it's it's a yes unless busy. for some reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unless for some reason, her mom's like. Nope, I don't feel like doing it, or oh, I feel I don't feel good, or you know, she comes up with excuses. Sometimes. She'll probably say yes. She like, prob no, normally she says yes. Yeah. Every now and then she's surprised. Because I don't want to bring a kid, even though you know you guys know no, Kyrie and yeah. you're, you're probably you you probably wouldn't want to bring her anyway. Yeah. Not going to be a, any other little ones. Yeah. No, gotcha. Exactly. Yeah, I brought her to, believe me, I brought her to a baby shower before where kids were allowed. At that